Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Gary Rodriguez. If you open his Wikipedia page, you can see that he played for a billion clubs and now he's playing for mine. Has pace, has dribbling, has the flair trait. That's basically it. This is my team and yes, I have Mostovoy. I packed him. Got a rare player's pack, I think from the objective of doing 100 finesse shots. It takes a million years to load. I got Leno, which is not that great. That's why I skip it. Then EA is building up the tension, thinking, oh, maybe you're gonna get someone else, maybe you're gonna get someone else. Keeps on loading, keeps on loading, keeps on loading. And then you see I got Mostovoy, very, very nice, fit in perfectly with my team. This is the rest of the team, let's get into some games. And of the first game, I'm not gonna even show you the opponent, but uh, EA things are just gonna happen. I lost, I lost connection, even though my internet was perfectly working. This is the first real opponent, has a Premier League team, but we create the first big chance with Rodriguez. Can't finish, Courtois is a very good goalkeeper. Inaki Williams, one of my favorite cards this year. Great cross, great header, but even better save. Rodriguez just keeps on trying. I admire that in a player. Still no goal from him. Mostovoy gives the ball to Rodriguez, good shot. Like I said, Courtois is just a very good goalkeeper. Then I just stopped giving the ball to Rodriguez, gave the ball to Mostovoy and it's 1-0. So you see, sometimes you just need to change things up a bit. Then uh, Rodriguez, a bit of trickery, only has 3 star skill moves so that's not ideal. But how is this not a penalty? He clearly clips my leg, but okay. Then we take the ball away from him and a very quick counter attack. A lot of his players are on my half. Give the ball to Inaki Williams, you can see Rodriguez running. Gives him the ball, he heads the ball for some reason, but it flies in. So 2-0 and the first goal for Rodriguez. Pretty good stuff, but still very weird that he heads the ball there. Then one-on-one -on -one with Courtois and I chip and I make a mistake by chipping because uh, I just needed to try something else. Great running from Inaki Williams and even better finish from Rodriguez. Inaki Williams created a lot of space by running into the corner. Very, very nice. Uh, good to see that, that FIFA gets a bit more realistic. The game ends 3-0 because my opponent wasn't really capable of creating uh, many chances. So Rodriguez got two goals in his real debut. I'm not going to count the, the lost connection game as a real game. But let's get into the second game. The second opponent also has a Premier League team and a very good one at that. But I'm not really scared of Premier League teams. We get the first opportunity with Gary Rodriguez and his finishing really, really isn't that good. Mostovoy gives the ball to Rodriguez and the dribbling is great and the finish is even better. We're 1-0 up and Rodriguez makes his third goal in a second to real game. We get one more big opportunity just before the half. Fortunis hits the post and then Rodriguez is just a little too small to get to the ball. His legs are a bit too short. Then Bruno Fernandes gets through on goal and he doesn't miss a chip like that. I missed a very easy chip in the first game. He makes it. And then this just happens a bit later. I do everything right with Konate, but he keeps the ball with Sancho. Gives the ball to Sam Maxi Meme, and he makes it 2-1. So I was a bit pissed off, and then you can only shoot rockets from your uh, backpack at a chopper in Far Cry 6 to relieve some of the stress. Oh, by the way, very good game. If you haven't checked it out, play it. It's, it's very fun to just uh, mess around with. But we lose this game 2-1. Rodriguez again got a goal. So, in conclusion, should you get Rodriguez? I don't really think so. He's very hard to link because he plays in the Greek League and he has uh, a pretty obscure nation. So, not really easy to link at all. But he's very fun to use. His biggest downside is that his finishing is very, very poor. He needs a lot of chances uh, to actually finish a shot. But his dribbling and his pace are definitely something that could be useful as a super sub. But with the prices being so low, you can probably get a cheaper or bit uh, basically the same price uh, super sub that fits your team better but that's going to be all for this video hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time bye